Hi, my name is Michael Clutcher. I am the set designer for the Argentina Community Theater's production of Sweet Charity, and I am super excited to be a part of this project. This is the third project that I've had the opportunity to be designer. Uh, I have also worked on the production of The Secret Garden, which uh, I absolutely loved, uh, and I was also part of the world premiere of During Wind and Rain, which was an awesome experience and was so happy to, to be a part of it with uh, Vince and Judy and the gang. Uh, this, this project actually has been a really cool and, and neat experience just because of the variety that the show brings. Uh, it's kind of a comedy, but it's also sort of this drama that follows this, uh, this lead character, uh, or the title character, I should say, of, uh, of Charity. And uh, it's, it's kind of neat, the process. Uh, was one of those things where um, we get together with the director, uh, Brandon Box Hignum, who is one of my best friends, uh, probably one of the, uh, I, I would say, most intelligent and creative directors that I've had the opportunity to work with. He and I worked together at North Little Rock High School for several years, so we've, it's not a new thing for us. We've, we've worked on several projects, and uh, sometimes it's just really cool and <laughs> interesting when you've got somebody who has so many big ideas and trying to figure out where you can fit in in there to, to help those things come to life because he's got an imagination <laughs> that is so far out there but it's, it's, it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, so from the beginning uh, we got together uh, he and I had like a dinner and we just kind of talked about it and he, he approached me about doing Sweet Charity which was kind of fun because I've actually uh, been in the show before. Uh, I, I did it in my college days uh, many, many moons ago. And uh, I, I remember the project very specifically because it was one of, those, one of those shows that I got to do that I knew I was completely miscast. And so I really got a chance to know how the show worked, what the show was supposed to mean, just so that I could do a decent enough job. And so uh, I think approaching it this time, however, as a designer, I really could explore it a lot differently than trying to figure out the process of an actor. Uh, so together, he and I kind of came up with these different ideas, and, and mostly at first it was just words, like, I want it to be electric, uh, I'm looking for these, for glowing, you know, we've got all these interesting characters come in and it's such high energy, and, and we want people to, to be so excited and, and not know what to expect next, because that's sort of the, the life of charity, if she jumps from these relationships to relationships to relationships, never never knowing exactly what, how it's going to end up. As an audience member, we all know how it's going to end up for her. Uh, but we keep rooting for her and thinking that, that this, is, this, is the, this is the moment that it's going to be great for her. So uh, creatively, we, we kind of thought about those same things and, and along the line of what types of ideas out there set-wise could we do that could create this same feeling in game show. Game show was kind of the same thing that just kept coming across the board, kept coming on the board for us. And I think as we started to explore, game shows sort of, I think, took, uh, took the lead on everything. And so that's where I, I started in my process creatively after having those f first few dinners with Brandon and, and we had this, this idea of love is, is a game show, you, you, have to, you have to play to win. And, uh, and, I, and that, that for me was going to be my biggest challenge was trying to figure out how to do that. But at the same time, still not forgetting that there, the, the, the culture of the show uh, is very super important. Uh, we, we wanted to establish a location. Um, all these things tied in. And now you're going to the paper to figure out, okay, how, how are we going to create all this? Sent some ideas to Brandon. He loved it. Um, sent back a few ideas for me to, to explore and then from there uh, you know we just kind of come up with this great wonderful idea of this Mondrian design that was glowing and electric and it popped and it moves and it it kind of goes along with whatever the action of the of that particular scene what's happening in the scene and it blends in with it and you're going to see parts of the set come together and move out and switch and these cubes come in to make things like furniture and, and uh, dressers, closets, uh, the, all, all these different things and, that you never knew would actually happen. 
and, and it's kind of a neat idea to see it actually work. And I've loved coming into the rehearsal process to see how they're how the, how the actors organically use this space that you've created that you have no idea if it was actually going to work or not. And, and it's fun to kind of watch them use it and it's, it's almost like it just makes you feel proud as though you've, you've created this wonderful piece of art for them that they have essentially taken over and made their own and, and you can kind of sit back and go, oh man, that's that's really cool. I never thought you guys could do that. And it's just that creative process of watching them with your work is, is absolutely so wonderful. I expect every audience member that comes is going to get that particular elicit. elicit the, the emotion is, it, it, they're going to they're gonna laugh. They're, gonna, they're probably going to cry a little bit. They're going to want to dance. It's just, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Great creative show. And I'm excited myself to, to see it as well. Thank you.